This is section 4.4, .4, Shape of a Graph. In this video, we're going to go through example 29 in your book. And this is an example of a question where it's asking us to use a second derivative test to determine the maxes and mins of this function. And while we go through this example, we're also going to fill out the step-by-step -step guide of how to solve these types of problems. So step one is find our critical points. Remember, critical points are wherever the first derivative equals 0. So I go over here, step one, find my first derivative. And using my power rule, I get that my first derivative oops, is this function. And now I need to set this equal to 0 and solve for my x's. To do that, I'm going to factor out my greatest common factor, which is 12x. And that leaves me with x squared minus 2x plus 1, all equals 0. Now I set both of these terms equal to 0 and solve for my x's. Uh, what I have here, though, is a quadratic. So remember, to solve for a quadratic, we just factored down into two binomials. When you factor this out, it ends up being x minus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0. And solving for my x's, I get that x equals 0 over here, and x equals positive 1 for both of these terms. So that means that 0 and 1, these are my critical points. Okay, step 1 is done. Step 2, I'm going to find f double prime of x, my second derivative. And with step 3, I'm going to plug my critical points into my second derivative and look at the sign. So step 2, let's find our second derivative. Just take the derivative of this first derivative. And now we get that our second derivative is 36x squared minus 48x plus 12. And the third step said plug critical points into our second derivative. When we plug our critical points into our second derivative to determine whether it's a min or max, we're only worried about the sign of our second derivative. If the sign of our second derivative is positive, then that means that that critical point is a minimum. And if our sign is negative, that means that critical point is a maximum. All right, so let's, uh, let's change colors here. So we plug in our first critical, critical point, which is 0. And when we plug 0 into our second derivative, we get 0 minus 0 plus 12. That gives us a positive value. That means that x equals 0, according to our chart, is a minimum. And when we plug in our second critical point, which is 1, we get 36 minus 48 plus 12. Add all that together, you're actually going to end up getting 0, which is weird, right? 0 isn't positive or negative. means we need to add a third line here. If you get 0, that means our favorite words, do more work. That means that this test was inconclusive for this critical point. We'll need to find, we'll need to determine whether this is a min or max another way, uh, possibly by going back to the first derivative and checking our signs on those intervals. We're not going to go through that here, though. We're just going to say that our final answer is that our critical points are at x equals 0 and 1, and 0 is a minimum, and at x equals 1, the second derivative test failed. Uh, test failed. And that's it for this problem. We just found our critical points, plug them into f double prime of x, and then check the sign. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either Schedule a one on one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.